Welcome to Excel Magic Trick 1006. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 1003 to 1006, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video here, we have five employees, and we need to assign a $450 allocation for insurance costs, but only if the employee has three consecutive months with a value above zero. So here, employee number one, one, two, three, so we could put a 450 here. This one, one, two, three. Notice we're in April, and so we're looking at the three previous. But the employee three to five, uh, none, only one, not a total of three, and zero. So all of these would be zero. Even when we get to May here, that would mean employee four is only built up Two. So it wouldn't be until this June column where employee number four has three previous months with values greater than zero that we would get for employee number four a 450. All right. Now we could build a formula with this intermediate column and then total them. Let's do it that way first and see if we can make any improvements. Well, we're always looking three previous. So I'm going to do the count if, and I don't need that minus. The range is going to be a relative cell reference. Notice as I copy down and over, that range will move relatively. And what am I going to say for the criteria? In double quotes, greater than 0, and double quote. Right, So that gives me a count of 3, and we're always interested in 3. So if I copy this over, it's only where there's 3's that we need that 450. Now I'm going to, with this whole range highlighted and that active cell, hit F2, put it in edit mode. Now we're interested in only when the result is 3. So I'm going to say, are you equal to 3? Notice we've taken a number, but we put the count if it's spitting out an answer, a number. We put a comparative operator. That means we're doing a logical formula. Are you equal to 3? It'll report true or false. Now I'm going to populate this edited formula into the whole range by holding Control and tapping Enter. Now where we see a true, we need the 450. Where it's false, we need uh, 0. F2 to put that cell in edit mode. I could do Boolean logic, but I think I'm just going to do an if. Logical test, it just needs a true or false comma, value if true is our 450. I click on that cell B2 and lock it using the F4 key. Those dollar signs make it absolute. Otherwise, the value of false, and I'm just typing in a 0. Close parentheses, Control Enter to populate uh, all the cells with the edited formula. So there it is. That's an intermediate column. So now, our ultimate goal is to get the total for the month, given that we have five employees. So Alt equals. And that is the formula total. So the question is, how do we do get a single cell to calculate that 900, that 1350 here, um, that 1800 here? The, the trick here is we have information that is coming from a two-way array. Notice there's five rows and three columns, one, two, three, right? And we, in essence, need to get from this uh, two-way array, a single array filled with 450s and zeros. This one has five rows and one column. So, and then we need to add them, right? So the only way I can think of to do that is to uh, switch over and do matrix algebra using the mmult function. Uh, so I'm going to come down here. We're going to take a little look at this. If we are going to multiply, remember, here's our source data. And we'll just do the formula for the first column, and then we'll copy it over. Here's our, in essence, our information, right? Uh, a row filled with three numbers greater than 0. And we need to get to this. Uh, let's just first start off. I'm going to highlight this here. And in this top cell here, I'm just going to highlight five rows, three columns. And I'm going to ask the question, are you greater than 0? Now let's highlight this. And I have a little note here. I'm going to highlight this and hit the F9 key. Notice it's returning an array in array syntax. Comma means column. Semicolon means row. Why? Because that comma means I got a true there, a true there, a true there. So true, comma, true, comma, true. As soon as you get the semicolon in array syntax, it means go down to the next row. 
right? So I need to, in essence, gather up this information uh, and get one, two, three in a row or across the columns into a single cell with the number three, right? So Control Z. That's a two-way array, five by three. Now I'm first going to need to uh, convert these to ones and zeros. So I'm going to put um, parentheses around that comparative operator and the double negative on the outside, F9. There's our ones and zeros. Now I somehow, again, need to gather these up. There's three ones uh, across the columns, but I need to have them in a single cell. So we're going to use matrix algebra. Now here's the thing. We uh, know what the size of our resulting array is. It needs to be 5 by 1. So if you're doing um, matrix algebra, you usually have array 1 and array 2. But here we have array 1 and array 3. So we have to know the rules for multiplying matrices. Array 1, array 2. Well, if this is the dimension of array 1, five rows, three columns. One of the rules is that the columns of the first half is to equal the rows of the second. So we know that the second array, if we're multiplying, it has to have three rows, so one, two, three. Not only that, but we have our resulting array here. It's five by one, five rows by one column. Well, the second array column has to, whatever that is, that'll be the number of columns in the resultant array, and we take five from array number one. So we know that this is 5, 1, so we put a 1 there. So that's how we determine the size of array 2. We kind of have to back into it. And what am I doing here? F9, just to remind us, well, if I could multiply this array times these, it would take 1, 1, 1 times 1, 1, 1 and add them. Then it would take 1, 1, 1 times 1, 1, 1 and add them. So this is a way, if we could do matrix multiplying, to gather up all those ones and zeros into, inside our formula, a column of threes and, and other numbers. So watch this. We're going to use the mamult. Array 1, comma, and array 2. Now watch this. We had to back our way into this, but I'm, I don't need to take it from the cells. I'm going to put it in array syntax. Um, curly brackets and then one semicolon to go down a row, semicolon, whoops, one semicolon one, and curly bracket. And there we go. That little trick there of taking the ones from here, multiplying it by that second array when it does the matrix algebra, F9, there's, whoa, in array syntax, three semicolon three semicolon zero one uh, zero. Now remember, we need in a single cell. Uh, 450, 450, 0, 0, 0. So Control-Z. I'm going to take that in parentheses. So I'm going to say, are you equal to 3? And then highlight it. F9, there's our trues and falses. Notice, true, true, false, false, false. So now I can simply take that. Because the 3, I, ca I can't just take the arrays of 3's and 1's and 0's and multiply it by the 450. I had to create those trues and falses. And now I can multiply them times this 450. Now, uh, I'm going to need to lock that ultimately in the, the formula. But um, if I highlight this F9, do you see in a single cell, I've created that, in essence, helper column that we created up above here. And so now what do we do? We can simply add those up. This would be in a single cell, so I can use something like some product. I'm going to type the second parenthesis and then come to the end and then just enter. And there's that 900. Now, actually, we could uh, uh, force the issue and see that the mamult really is, if we were going to do it, the helper column, which we would never do. I'm going to have to click Escape, come down here, F2. Uh, this is silly. I shouldn't have done this. I should have just gone. But we can, we could, uh, how you normally enter a mamult is you don't use it in a single cell. You you enter it as an array, and there's those the 450s and the zeros. But now we're going to come up uh, to this cell right here, and we'll do our whole formula. Well, let's do it right here. I'm going to copy this little bit right here. I think I probably already had it. Uh, some product, control V, and there it is. Now notice those relative cell reference will work because as we copied across, it's it's looking at, whoa, it's looking at the wrong range, so I need to change this. 
the rest of it is fine. But notice as we copy it this way, those dancing ants will move incrementally by one month. And I used some products so I didn't have to use Control Shift Enter for this array. Mamult is an array function that returns an array. Ready? Control Enter and copy it over. You gotta be kidding me. So right at any given point, it's it's gathering its information up from this uh, two-way array, simulating this, this helper column with a mamult, and then adding it with some product. All right. Um, the, actually, this similar trick is in, I talk a lot about the mamult in chapter 18 in uh, my upcoming uh, array formula book, Control Shift Enter, which will be out in July. So. This is a, a different example than I have in the book, but I talk exactly about how to, to take information from a, a two-way array, simulate a column, and then put it all into a single cell. All right, we'll see you next video.